Short-term housing rentals have a small effect on the housing market throughout the state. But in some areas, the effects can be felt by all the people who live there. Kristen McPeak joins us live in Summit County tonight. Kristen, you've gone over the report. What stands out? Well, I have that here in my hand. Researchers from the Chem C Gardner Policy Institute are taking a closer look on the impacts of short term housing rentals here and locals here in Park City want their government to take note. It's just it's so unsustainable. Abby Ellis is enjoying the sunshine with her dog Finn in Park City. He is being really good. She's lived in the area for a few years. It was just looking for uh, an apartment or a condo or a house for my family to rent for the next year or two. And we couldn't find anything that um, went through the ski season. All the rentals are only available until November or December, and then they want to, you know, like surcharge everybody for six months. She's not surprised that Summit County holds the most short-term rentals in the state. Park City has prioritized tourism to the point where it just pushes locals out. The amount of short-term rentals here is confirmed by a new study just released by the Kempsey Gardner Policy Institute. We also look at more broadly at a neighborhood level where are the short-term rental concentrated. We see areas that have higher incomes that are more that have higher housing prices. Dehan Eskich is a senior fellow at the Institute. He says in general, Utahns won't notice a housing impact by short-term rentals. But there are some counties that rely heavily on tourism. The study shows that 60% of short term rentals are in places like Salt Lake, Summit, and Washington counties. Short term rentals provide a, a little bit of a, 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 more options. Eskich says that short term housing is an indication of a growing economy. He also adds, with the Olympics coming, I would expect to see a significant increase in short-term rentals. As for Abby, she wants to see more investments into the community. You know, I know a lot of park, people from Park City are moving to Heber and Camas and Francis and Oakley, and I worry that after the Olympics, those places will then be, you know, uninhabitable. And I asked researchers about the possible solutions moving forward. They say the first step is identifying where that affordability gap lays, the next is up to how local counties, cities, and governments want to address that themselves. Live in Park City, Chris McPeak, KUTV2 News.